Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, guys, as you know, for some time now, we've been looking at all the Mattel uh, online or and creations exclusive figures. Starting with the Masters line. If you remember, we looked at some figures like Bicron here. To the Virgo Abla He-Man tribute statue. The one that started kind of it all was the Snout Spout uh, online exclusive figure and, and many, many more like the He-Man Skeletor 2-pack. The Dark Lynn figure as well is another good example. Then we kind of moved on and we started revisiting the Origins exclusive figures like He Skeletor here on the channel to Frog Mongler. But also for fun, guys, I did bring out my Mechanical Mimics online uh, exclusive uh, Mattel figure. All right. But there's also, we're going to be looking at uh, Lady Slither, another Mattel Crazy exclusive online figure here. To the Skeleton Warriors is another one we'll be looking at soon on the channel. But today, guys, we'll be looking at Fangor, the fearsome fanged uh, snake scientist, a another Mattel Creations exclusive figure. All right, we'll take a look at him in the packaging. Uh, we'll look at him. Uh, I do have a loose version of him. In fact, I have two uh, boxed versions of him and one loose version of him. All right, I'll tell you why. Look at the beautiful artwork. Look at the comic he comes with. All right. Of course, we'll look at his classics version as well. All right, it'll be a lot of fun. All right. So if you give me one second, guys, I'll get the other, uh, uh, these other figures out of the way really fast. We can take a look at Fangor, the fearsome fanged snake scientist, the Mattel Crisis exclusive Origins figure. All right, guys, I think we're good to go. So here he is, and I brought out my turntable. All right, so you have the new for 2023 logo, uh, Master Universe right there, Fangor. This is collector friendly, okay? You have the virtual play here, nice glamour shot of him right there with the beautiful red rocks, the vintage red rocks we all know and love right there. There he is in the packaging. You have the Snake Man logo with that really cool, you know, snake skin right there in the bubble. And he is collector friendly, so I can remove him from the pack, you know, from the back right here. All right, a second, guys. But here he is, right here, in the packaging. Give me a second here, guys. I'm gonna show you the differences and why I have two um, boxed. Fangors, okay. So there he is right there. Now, of course, here's my second version of Fangor here, or my second inboxed version of him. Um, let's see what I can do here. Do, 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 do. Okay, oops. So, you know what? It'd be easier just to do this. Because I have one encased in, in plastic and this protective case here. Now, like Rock On, okay, for some reason. I don't know why, okay? But as you see here, it's no big, it's no difference between the figure, guys, okay? If, if, if it was new to the channel. Only difference is, is the packaging. For some reason, and it's a very minor change in, in difference in the packaging, okay? The figure itself is, is the same. There's no difference. But for some reason, um, you can see there's no, like, you see right there, there's the, they, they somehow, I guess, got mixed up. Mattel kind of goofed up. And maybe thought, you know, this was not going to be a collector-friendly packaging and was going and has stamped right there. And the, I did not do this. Mattel did that. And you can see the difference right there. The same, it's the same exact figure. I mean, one's there's no difference in the, in the in the figure at all. Sorry guys. Man, they're just falling over the place, guys. My apologies. Hang on. Hang on. Alright. So you can see, you know, this version doesn't have that. 
uh, punched right there. But it's the same exact figure. There's no difference in the figure. It's just, for some reason, I don't know why, um, Mattel, I guess, at some point thought this might not be a, a collector-friendly packaging. And they kind of did this with Rock On 2, um, where you see there's one punched like that and one not punched. That's all. There's no, But other than that, there's no difference. And I thought that was kind of interesting and kind of funny at the same time. Like somebody from Mattel uh, goofed up and, like, like I said, thought that this Fangor and like Rock On um, were going to be a, you know, a not a collector friendly packaging. All right. So that's why I have two uh, box versions of Fangor um, in my collection, guys, and a third one for loose um, in, you know, for my collection. All right. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and put Fangor back. Um, in the packaging here, guys. We're going to look at the gorgeous artwork, too. From, and here's a nice glamour shot, or a nice beautiful shot of Fangor here. The artwork right there. Of course, we, you know, we did get some uh, more feedback. Um, from that secret reveal that at some point very very soon they're gonna give us more detail of the Serpent's Lair. It's a crowdfunding uh, uh, playset and also here's another Easter egg here of, of Hero. I'm sure at some point you know we'll get him in Origins. Alright. And first let me go ahead and bring out my loose version of, of Fangor here. So here he is. Here's my third. It's like an Omri builder, just about, of like all multiple Fangors I have in my collection here, guys. You can see I have three versions of him. All right, you can build, he's, he's a great Omri builder if you wish to, you know. Let me have him put him right here on the. Let's see if I can move this guy. He's a little bit over here, guys. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, guys, I got my notification today. Um, that my uh, Cyclone, the one we looked at on Monday, on April 1st, uh, was shipped out. Finally, I finally got my notification today that it was shipped out. And <laughs> a little, you know, a little late, but, you know, better late than never. You know, Mattel did finally, you know, give me that notification that, you know, my uh, Cyclone Origins figure has been shipped out and has been delivered on the 1st. You know, so it was kind of, I kind of laughed at that and kind of funny, but hey, they still... I guess, in some way, you know, like I said, better late than never. They finally gave me a notification that my Cyclone uh, Origins figure has been shipped out. So I thought that was kind of funny. But Now also, let's look at the comic as well. Um, back to Fangor here. Um, let's take a look at his comic book right there. There's that Cosmic He-Man there. It almost kind of reminds me of that... Uh, mutant, mutant that mutated uh, turtles of gray skull he-man in a way with the purple skin right there um, But I, that's not the mutated he-man. This is nothing to do with the turtles of gray skull line This is the uh, I guess the vintage, you know masterverse origins line But it'd be kind of cool to get this version of he-man here this cosmic he-man here See all the beautiful artwork there Oh, there's that Really cool uh, Cosmic He-Man here. So I'm kind of cool, like a little Easter egg that we might get. Maybe at Origins at some point. I think that would be kind of cool to get from Origins right there. Or I guess you can, in a way, I, mean, I guess. I was about to say, maybe you could take that purple mutated He-Man in a way. I mean, well, you can't really do that. Because, no, never mind, never mind. I was about to say, if you want to customize it to get, you know, give him this kind of look. To create your own Cosmic He-Man. Um, because you do have that purple tone from the, you know, from that mutated He-Man. Um, you can try to do that if you wish. Um, but it's, but it's kind of different, you know, as well as your scale and stuff like that. But. It was really, really cool. Alright. And of course, guys. Also, guys, you know, he did come with a mailer box as well. Beautiful mailer box right here. There's old Fangor right there. His mailer shipping box right there. With beautiful artwork right there. All right. Around the back for some more gorgeous artwork. 
of the figure here. Go ahead and turn on. So he comes with a sword right there and some big old, you know, tusks right there. They can be removed. You can remove it to give him a more shorter teeth right there. If you wish to do that. Go ahead and turn around. See the artwork from the side right here. Oh, of course, there's another shot right there. I totally forgot right here. You have Lady Slither right here. But here's the figure itself right here. It looks really cool. And you can remove the teeth right here if you wish to, you know, like, have no teeth at all. Like, He-Man just punched his, you know, his teeth out, you know. It'd be kind of funny if you want to do that. But there's, there's this, it just push, it just goes right into the, right there. That same, that same type snake symbol, if you remember with our, uh, camel Con figure, that same symbol that you see on the on this belt right there, that was on Camel Con's chest right there. Great detail right there. Look at the scales right there of the figure here. Oh, and another thing I just realized he has um, yeah, I think he has like a like a like a wrench, wrench of which I don't have right now with me. Um, hang on, let's see if we can find it to show you guys. All right, guys. So here's the here's the his other um, item he comes with. It looks like a like a wrench here. Why would a scientist have a wrench? It's a, it's a more like like a mechanic, you know, for for vehicles. But this is the, his other his other item he comes with, which I think he doesn't. So there you go. If you, if you need an oil change for you know, for a Wind Raider or for a Roton, he's your man. Oops. I'm joking, guys. I'm just playing around, you know. But uh, still a very cool figure. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the turntable. I'll turn it on so we can watch him spin right there. You know, I'm, an amazing figure. You know, oops, hang on. I'm probably going to lose this. Hang on. Okay. So, yeah, another great snake man, you know, for this from this incredible snake man line, guys. You know, a fun figure, you know. Of course, he did come in classics as well. If you've been collecting this line for some time now, from over 40 years, he did come in classics. We take a look at this classics version, thanks to Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics. And here's his classics version. Came out in 2018, so it's fairly, you know, in a way, kind of new for a while. But there he is. Came with this really cool um, bat right here. And you can see, like, two different head versions up there. There is that same, you know, uh, wrench... He comes with a screwdriver and a hammer right there. Of course, his sword, like the see in the one right here, he has. A little fun fact here, I'll pause that right there. All right. And there he is, front to back and side to side. All right. What is it? The frequency fanged. Snake, so okay, so they, they kind of changed the name here from classics to the origin line. Freakishly Fanged Snake Men Warrior, and now he's called the Fearsome Fanged Snake Scientist. Okay, so he went from a warrior to a scientist now. Okay, all right, that's kind of odd. I, did, I, I think in my original review of him, I don't remember saying that. I don't think I, you know, I realized that that they changed his title. Of the figure um, from you know from a warrior to a scientist now okay well that's cool but there he is guys there's a Fangor right here and they stand you know he, he's part of that vintage origins line once again you know there's difference between this line and the cartoon collection of course you know as you know the cartoon collection is a little bit taller he stand a little bit more higher and a little more upright so they're like half an inch taller than the vintage line. So he runs into the more vintage line figures. All right. But I hope you guys were, were able to pick him up in your collection. Like I said, he's a great armor builder. He looks amazing. I love the detail of the face. The skin looks incredible. The detail. I love the, 
overall big, you know, giant tusk, you know, of the figure here. I love his sword here. It looks amazing. I cannot wait, like I said, I cannot wait till we get, you know, some more detail of when exactly we're going to get that Serpent's Lair playset. You know, we did get some information, you know, a little bit of information when we got that secret revealed that we are going to get something soon. I don't know if it's going to be San Diego, San Diego Comic Con or, you know, sometime during the summer or, you know, I just cannot wait. And I'm very curious to see how much it's going to be, you know, worth. It's going to be a crowdfunding, like kind of like Eternia was. It's going to be like a crowdfunding, you know, play set. And I'm, I'm kind of curious, besides, you know, the Snake, the, you know, the Serpent's Lair, you know, what we're going to be unlocking as each tier, you know, we get closer and closer. I feel like one of the things we're going to, like, probably unlock... It's probably like gonna be like hero. It's like a, like a you know how we got you know Modi and we got uh, King Grayskull in, in, as the tiers for Eternia. I feel like you know maybe we'll get you know hero or um, laser light Skeletor or He Man as no, another options. You know of of you know this amazing brand here. You know as uh, as to unlock when we get Serpent's Lair. Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys. You know first of all if you are even interested. In the Serpent's Lair. It's, I think this is the first time ever. I don't think we ever had a Serpent's Lair. And, you know, from the, from, of course, the 80s line to the, of course, the Classics line to the 2000X. I think this is the first time ever getting, this was a, a crowdfunding voting thing. And they, this won the voting, by the way. The Serpent's Lair won, they had, they had a poll, if you remember, uh, you know, a while back. Not too long, well, not a while back. I would say, like, a couple months ago. Like, a few months ago. And this is one of the, you know, it was this, and I think there was like the, um, the Battle Ram, you know, the Attack Track, oh, no, I'm sorry, the Attack Track from Cartoon Collection, um, or Filmation Style, as, you know, and I think it was another one, I think it was like, like something with Hordak, I think. It's been a while, guys, and I apologize for that, but I do know that this won the voting, um, and so this is going to be a crowdfunding place that I'm sure everyone, everybody knows. Um, you know, I just can't wait, and I'm, you know, I'm very curious, uh, you know, as we, you know, unlock certain things, what those certain things going to be, and I feel like one of them is going to be, like, Hero, maybe Laser Light, He-Man, and Skeletor, it'll be another great figures to add to the collection, so let me know in the comments below, first off, if you are, you know, um, you know, if you're you know, looking forward to getting a Serpent's Lair in your collection, and what do you think is going to be the unlockables when we start, you know, uh, Getting the Serpent's Lair, all right. But there you go, guys. There's a look, a, a relook, and a revisit of Fangor. I'm trying to bring him closer here. The fearsome fanged snake scientist or mechanic, if you wish, or both, or warrior. He can be all three if you want to. You can be, you can be a warrior. He can be a, you know, mechanic, or he can be a scientist. You know. It's up to your creation guys, and your imagination, guys. All right. And I do like, and like I said before, I really, really hope that Mattel will keep, will continue, will continue giving us collector-free packaging, you know, to with these figures here. All right. I think they'll be great. All right, I'd like to take the time now, guys, to, of course, thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe, like the Origins line here, to the Masters line, to the CGI line as well. Right. Even though the CGI, the CGI line is now done, that was a lot of fun, you know, and I hope you guys will look back and... Look at all my CGI uh, figures on my channel, guys. Thank you for doing that. All right. Of course, hit that like button. And thank you guys for doing that so much. It helps my channel out. It helps my channel to get out there to grow for more people like us who love He-Man, who love collecting He-Man, which could be the Origins line, the Masters line, the CGI line, like all brands of He-Man, you know, throughout this incredible line of the years to watch my videos and hopefully subscribing as well. So hitting that like button, thank you for doing that, guys. It means a lot. Of course, hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos. And tomorrow, guys, we'll look at the the Skeleton Warriors uh, in the packaging. Uh, we'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, the artwork he comes with. It'll be a lot of fun. And the comic, too. All right. A great army builder. 
All right, and, you know, He-Man has been known for great armor building as well, and Skeleton Warriors is another example of that. So we'll take a look at the exclusive Skeleton Warriors on tomorrow's uh, video on Friday. All right. So, guys, oh, of course, once again, guys, please share this video. Who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe, like the Origins line here, which could be this brand, because the vintage, I call it the vintage line now, because now we have the cartoon collection, we have the Turtles of Grey Skull line going very strong. Um, we have the Masters of the WWE Universe as well. Of course, the Masterverse line, which has a lot of brands themselves, like New Eternia to Princess of Power, to the Revelation, to the Revolution line, to even New Adventures of He-Man, to some of the CGI line, too. All right, so the Masterverse is an amazing line, too, as well. All right, to the 80s, the classic line, to the Super 7. All right, if you've been a, a, a major, like a big fan of this brand here for over 40 years, and in collecting, that's amazing, guys. You've been collecting for over 40 years of this amazing brand, guys. I got to say that that is absolutely amazing, guys. This brand is so, so badass, and I love it. You know, from the 80s, the classic once again, to the, you know, Mondo, to Funko Pops, to, you know, um, uh, 2000X, to Princess of Power, to A New Adventures, you name it, guys. I mean, this brand has been kicking butt for over 40 years, guys, and I absolutely love it, guys. And I love talking with you guys about it. So, guys, once again, I hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.